Hi, hi everyone. I hope I'm audible. So let me just check once. Yes, okay. Okay, all right. Okay then, so let's get started. So diagram based questions on uh, nervous system. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the questions from the nervous system chapter. All right. So before I start, let me introduce myself. I'm Vani Kari, biology educator at an academy. I'm an engineer with bachelor's and master's degree in biotechnology and a BA degree. Also a founder of a startup where I grow microgreens by vertical farming technology. Okay. So join with us in Telegram for homework and class notes. You can join the channel Vani Kari ICSC class 9 and 10 biology. Okay. And the Telegram channel of an academy ICSC and ISC both. So this link you will find in the description box. Okay. So this link you can find in the description box. So click on the link and join the channel for updates regarding the classes. So let's have a, a look at the special class features like you know uh, how exactly um, and this is going to be different okay so you can learn from your favorite educator for free okay so there are free classes that we conduct so which are absolutely free and you can have an option to interact with the educator then so engage with educator via poll so we will be conducting a quiz okay so once we conduct a quiz so you know you will have your ranks also so at the end of the e quiz so we will be sharing the leaderboard okay so we will be sharing the leaderboard so there you can know your rank and you can compete with your friends as well so clear your doubts in the live special classes okay so for the top special classes you can visit the link that is there in the description again so moving on to an academy subscription features so you can learn live from the comfort of your home okay unlimited access to all the courses will be there okay then that is basically you know different educators will come up with different courses so you will have access to all the courses then top educators of india are going to take the classes in one platform that is an academy platform then there is regular doubt clearing session and we can also say it as an answer writing session so after about every three session the fourth session will be our doubt clearing session so any doubts you have related to the topics that are previously covered so you can clear your doubt in this particular session that is a doubt clearing session then complete syllabus will be covered mentorship and guidance is given the study material is given okay and along with that you can have a practice test life test series as well so you will have access to all the courses so this is the advantage so if you prefer to learn in hindi or english or english so you can go for any of these batches because once you take the subscription you will have access to all the batches so depending on your comfort you can go for any of these batches so there is a daily practice section then weekly mock test series is there live quizzes daily mcq and subjective test series also you can find okay so now an academy plus subscription pricing so now now for class 10 okay so you can just try with three months of subscription like how exactly this works or if you are planning to uh, subscribe okay so those who are in the very beginning of this class and so you can go with the 12 months of subscription and we have come up with the batches where we will be covering your midterm portion by the end of june okay and with that we will also discuss the different questions that are there like you know different questions from the o like you know oswal publication the goyal publication so we will be solving the questions there so if those who are in the very beginning of a class 10 now okay so you can go for the 12 months because by the end of june we will be covering your midterm portion and along with that so we will be discussing the different questions that are there okay and now you can see there is a 20 percent discount on all subscriptions so this is today is the last date 
okay so you can use the code vani yt okay so this is my code vani yt i hope it is visible so let me just write it with the different color yeah so this is my code vani yt okay so with this code you will be getting 20% discount on the subscription that means for 12 months so you will be uh, paying around 12k okay so 12k you will be paying so that is with the referral code vani yt so if you are planning to take the subscription you can go for it today itself because 20% discount offer is going to end today from tomorrow onwards again it is going to be you know uh, 10% discount itself all right so let's have a look at this one the diagram based questions on nervous system so all the questions that i have added here so these are taken from the together with and as well as the uswal publication so let's see this one second so before that uh, i'll just make okay so now you can see this year okay so the year of this question like this question was asked in the year 2017 so that means it is a pyq like you know previous year question all right so that means you know now your term two so they can ask similar type of diagram based question for you so now the diagram given below is an external view that is of the human brain okay so study the same and answer the question that follow okay so you need to study the same and answer the question that follow so in that case name the parts labeled a b c in the diagram so what is this part what is this part and what is this part okay so that you need to label now state the main functions of the parts labeled a and b okay so now one second let me just check if i'm audible okay all right yeah so state the main function of the parts labeled a and b okay so here let's see what is a and b now uh, any of you have any idea what is a b c so a is cerebrum b is cerebellum and c is spinal cord so let's label them so this is what this is cerebrum okay so this is cerebrum this is what this is sorry so this one is cerebellum and this one over here so this can be medulla oblongata and this is going to be spinal cord okay so now what exactly name the function or main function of the part a and b so now you know cerebrum when we mention so this is associated with intelligence then there is a function of one second so this is with respect to intelligence then you know there is a function of memory so here this is basically muscular coordination that means body balance will be maintained over here that is by the cerebellum okay so what are the structural and functional units of the brain so what is that structural and functional unit so how are the parts of these units arranged in a and c so that is here in the cerebrum and in the spinal cord so let's see this <coughs> okay so now here in the cerebrum part okay so here in the cerebrum part so let's say uh, there is a cortex part we are talking about okay so in cerebral cortex so there is you know the, this one let me just write this one completely so this is a cortex okay so this is with respect to what this is with respect to brain okay then cortex region is there and then there is a medulla region that you can find so cortex region is what it is having a gray matter okay and here you can find that is in the medulla region you can find a white matter so you know gray when we mention so this is always a always made of cell bodies so you can find a cell body then so all the cell bodies together are going to form a gray matter so same way now medulla okay so this is having a white matter that means all the axons together okay so now you know group of cell bodies are there okay so now you can see this is a group of cell body here which will give a appearance of gray color okay so this is a gray matter now you know continued from here so you can see there is a spinal cord okay 
Uh, sorry, not spinning glucose. Axon. Okay. So now this is the axon which is giving the white matter. So this one is axon. So that is you know when we observe it. So this will appear white in color. So based on that the white matter it is called. So gray matter and white matter. So group of cell bodies when you observe. So that means it is a ganglion. Okay, and group of Y, I mean axon, so that we call as the nerve. Okay, so now how exactly this is arranged? So in the brain, you can find the cortex and medulla region. So with respect to cortex and medulla region, so this is the case. So let's have a look at the spinal cord now. So in spinal cord, what is the case? So in case of spinal cord, so there also you have this cortex region. Okay, so there is a cortex region and then you can find the medulla region there okay so here in this the cortex region is basically you know this is a white matter and white matter always when we mention it is of axon and medulla when we mention so this is of the cell bodies okay so that means it is a gray matter so again here the cell bodies that you can find okay so this is the structural arrangement that you can see with respect to spinal cord so that's what they are asking so c is spinal cord a is basically cerebrum itself so we can say brain itself okay so vice versa it is you know reverse of the brain arrangement so reverse you can find in the spinal cord now next one is <coughs> Okay, one second. So mention the collective term for the membranes covering the brain. Any of you have any idea which is that uh, part of the, the mention the collective term for the membranes covering the brain? Just a second. No idea which is that uh, membrane covering. So it is basically a uh, meninges okay so whenever there is an infection in the meninges so there is a swelling that we can see so that we call as a meningitis okay so here this one is a meninges so that is the collective term for the membranes covering the brain so now you see a brain here right so let me just explain you this yeah so now you know covering this brain you can find so there is a pia matter the innermost one is pia matter so not just the brain so this will continue down for this uh, spinal cord also okay so you can find pia matter there okay and again surrounding that pia matter you can find there is arachnoid okay so this one over here is arachnoid tissue okay so this is basically arachnoid membrane then outermost like you know there is one more covering so that is basically a dura matter so all of this together so this is a dura matter so all of this together we call them as a meninges okay so this one is a meninges now is the green visible yeah it is visible no so these are the covering so these are meninges and so now if there is an infection so let's say maybe a viral infection uh, which is that so it can cause a inflammation okay so you can see a inflammation there so when inflammation is there so that is basically meningitis okay so this one is meningitis so whenever you come across the suffix itis so itis meaning here is basically inflammation is found okay so there is an inflammation in the brain coverings okay so these are the answers that we saw okay so there is uh, moving on to the next one so yeah one more question is there i guess yeah so what is the function of the cerebrospinal fluid so this fluid is going to act as a shock absorber or you know we can say that this will provide you a protection against the mechanical injury so this will act as a shock absorber so it is the medium for the exchange of respiratory gases the food materials and waste materials so whatever exchanges occurring so those exchanges like you know oxygen has to be them like oxygen has to be supplied to your brain then carbon dioxide has to be removed the nutrient supplies like you know glucose hi good evening 
so then other than that so you can see nutrient supply also has to be done the waste material has to be removed so in all these cases through the sp cerebrospinal fluid in short we can call it as a csf okay so cerebrospinal fluid so this is the one which does the function so moving on to the next one the diagram given below is a representation of a certain phenomenon pertaining to the nervous system okay so you can see again here this question is asked in the year 2014 that means again this one is a previous year question itself okay so the diagram given below is a representation of a certain phenomenon that is pertaining to the nervous system okay so study the diagram and answer the following question so you need to study this and answer the questions that are asked like you know now name the phenomenon that is being depicted any of you any idea what is the phenomenon shown here okay so now idea then all right so let's uh, get started all right so now i've named the phenomenon that is being defect depicted so that is the reflex action so here what is happening so reflex action we can see so this one sorry so this is reflex action now yeah so this is reflex action so give the technical term for the point of contact so that we can say this is synapse okay so the point of contact so you can see here this is one neuron there is another neuron so this is a point uh, there is a gap okay so they are not completely in contact but a slight gap you can find it so that we call as a synapse so name the parts 1 2 3 and 4 okay so what is this what is this and what is this and this is one okay then 5 and 6 also that you need to label so let's have a look at this one so first one is sensory neuron so this is a previous year question so same type of questions can be there okay so concentrate on this so now you know the first one which is there the which is there from the receptor so here is the receptor so coming from the receptor you can see there is a sensory neuron so this is a sensory neuron and here you see a ganglion okay so this is basically a dorsal root ganglion so this is sensory neuron this is dorsal root ganglion okay so i'll just label it in short and now what is this one so this is actually the now here is this gray matter okay and here this is a white matter of the spinal cord so you can just write it as a spinal cord white matter the fourth one is the gray matter okay Okay, so we will just uh, write it in short here. So this is gray matter. This one, okay. So this is gray matter actually, and this one is white matter. Okay. So then fifth one is what? So fifth one is uh, actually a association neuron. Okay. So association neuron when we mention, so let's say this is a sensory neuron now. Okay. so sensory neuron is sending the information so you can see here there is a sensory neuron okay so collecting the information from here so there is one more neuron so they are all arranged like this okay so then there is a motor neuron that you can find so now you know this one is sensory neuron and this is association neuron and this one is basically motor neuron so that means the information from the sensory neuron so that is connected with the motor neuron one second yeah motor neuron that is done through the association neuron so this can also be called as a relaying okay so that means it will convey the information from one neuron to the other so now i've named the parts so that is done write the function of part 5 and 6 so 5 and 6 5 is association neuron so 6 one you can see it is a motor neuron so what is the function of 5 and 6 association neuron connects the spinal and the motor neuron the motor neuron convey messages from spinal cord to the 
effector organ that is for the spinal cord okay so now here the next question is uh, this one how does the arrangement of neurons so this i already discussed so spinal cord that is outer part contains white matter and the inner part contains the gray matter okay so this is reverse we can find in a brain so let's have a look at the next one now okay so the diagram shows a secretion or oh sorry so diagram shows a section of the human brain okay so answer the questions that follow so here here uh, you can see this is the labeling this is the labeling and this is the labeling okay so that is a b and c that you need to label so what is that a b c so cerebrum cerebellum medulla oblongata so since it is just below this part that is below the pons so this one is going to be medulla oblongata this is cerebrum this is cerebellum okay so now I've give the main function of each of the parts a b c so this is associated with intelligence the memory okay and this is associated with the body balance so this one is going to control the internal organ activities okay so that is involuntary activity we can mention so involuntary activities that is internal organs only so all those are controlled by the medulla oblongata so let's have a look at this cerebrum is the seat of memory okay so the thought the reason the logic so that is logical reasoning thinking memory intelligence invention so it controls and coordinates the muscular movement so that is for what so body equilibrium so muscular movement is uh, actually you know the coordination is done so this one we can scratch it off so this is basically done with what so this is done by the cerebellum so controls the body equilibrium or we can say body balance is maintained by the cerebellum then here the medulla oblongata controls all the involuntary activity like heartbeat then respiration the peristalsis so all those are controlled by the medulla oblongata so next question is name the three protective membranes of the brain so what are those protective membranes so dura mater arachnoid and a pia mater okay so together we call them in general the term is meninges so is this a pre pyq no okay so this is a meninges okay and if there is itis if we add a suffix to uh, suffix itis to it so that means this is having an infection so here the meaning is that there is inflammation so what is inflammation inflammation is nothing but a swelling okay so you can see swelling in the covering so that is covering of a brain so whenever a suffix itis is added anywhere okay arthritis encephalitis okay so different terms you come across right so then you know uh, there is um, one second just a second yeah so now based on that so we will be naming them so now suffix itis is added that means there is a inflammation that is swelling you can see so now the question is name the basic unit of the brain so what is that structural and functional unit of a brain so it is a neuron okay so why do we say it is a structural and functional unit because now when we mention about a brain so let's say cortex region is a medulla region is a so here you can see there is a gray matter and here in the center that is medulla you can find a white matter so gray matter is made of cell body the white matter is made of what the white matter is basically made of axon okay yes i have already made uh, mihir okay so i have already made the diagram list um, yes i have already taken so you are asking about diagram important diagrams of all chapter yes this is done already so you can search you can go to videos of this um, uh, an academy icsc and isc boards channel so there you can find okay or uh, one thing you can do is i can just send it the link also you can just join the telegram link so that is uh, varni kari icsc class 9 and 10 biology okay so this is my telegram 
so you can join in here okay so there i can send you the link okay or you can just search it on um, this thing also on video section all right all right so let's uh, go to the next one yeah i was saying about this so gray matter is cell body and white matter is basically made of axon okay so reverse we will find so this is vice versa in case of um, the spinal cord so reverse you can find in the spinal cord that means uh, the cortex region is having a white matter the medulla region is having a gray matter which is reverse of that of a brain okay so let's go to next question the figure below shows a diagram of a neuron study the diagram and answer the following questions okay so here the labeling is done so you i mean the marking is done so what is this part so label the parts one to five any of you have any idea like what is this yes you can ask ankit so how is the preparation going on for your exams so it is in march second week no yeah bio exam is in march second week so you can uh, type in your question i'll just check it and also you can type in what are these parts here that is 1 to 5 so that is one is mentioned so dendrite dendron then there is this one you can see so cell body then nucleus is there axon is there so there is a myelin sheet covering okay yes so these questions are from together with yes that's right okay so some questions i have added from the together with and some of the questions are from oswal publication also so both i have added here okay <clears throat> yes so dendrite cell body node of ranvier the third one is node of ranvier so third one is basically nucleus it is okay so this one is nucleus okay node of ranvier is this gap so you see these gaps here right wherever the myelin sheath is not there so this is a node of ranvier okay so that is named after the scientist ranvier himself so let's have a look at this one so dendrite cell body nucleus then there is axon and you know myelin sheath so this fifth one is basically a myelin sheath and here this long process extension what you see so this is an axon so let me just clear this up so that you can clearly see so now you know here it is not labeled here the fifth one so fifth label is basically over here that means it is a myelin sheath itself okay so now state the functions of part labeled 4 and 5 no problem so be, uh, maybe because the diagram is not clear over there so in the video also so it doesn't matter okay so anyway that's fine so state the function of part label 4 and 5 so what is this 4 so what exactly does the axon do and what exactly does the fifth one does so this is myelin sheath what is the function of this one and axon what is the function of this one so they are asking about 4 and 5 then explain the terms receptor and then effector okay so these term needs to be explained myelin sheath increases the speed of impulses okay so that is basically it is prevent like you know it it acts as a insulating material okay so this acts as a insulating material that means it does not allow the mixing up of so it does not allow mixing up of impulses that is between the different axons okay so mixing up of impulse so we can see the answer over here so now you know the myelin sheath when we mention so main thing is protecting the axon also it prevents the leakage of impulses that means uh, it is basically insulating material which will avoid the mixing up of a impulse between the axons of the different neurons okay so that is the answer for this so it does not increase the speed of impulse as such so it is just preventing the leakage of impulse okay um hi avinash avinash is here avinash is um, like everywhere okay so namaste and bye all together once okay 
All right, so fourth one that is axon function. So this transmit the impulse so that is received from the cyton to the another neuron. Okay, so that means the cyton is going to receive the impulse that is through the dendrite. Okay, so now dendrites are the ones which are sensing that change which is occurring at the receptor. So one long process you can find. So this is an axon now. Okay. So here what you can see, so axon a long process which is this, which is basically a dendrite. So here you can see there is a branching, okay. So now function of axon when we mention, so this will transmit the impulse which is received. So from here, let's take a different color so that you can understand. So from here what is happening, the impulse is getting traveled, like you know it keeps moving here. So then it is reaching this part that is axon part, then it will reach this this axon terminal over here so now at the axon terminal so there is a bulb like structure okay so axon bulb will be there so in this axon bulb there is a stored acetylcholine okay so that is a neurotransmitter so you can find acetylcholine so once the signal reaches here so this acetylcholine is going to diffuse out okay so this is going to diffuse out and the next associated neuron which is there okay so there is one more neuron which is in association over here so this uh, dendrite of this neuron so that is going to take the impulse from here so this one is now so now acetylcholine once it is received i mean released or diffused so now you know these dendrites are going to receive that acetylcholine that means just a signal is received so that a wave of irritability is set here so the next neuron in continuation is going to continue the same process so anyway nucleus is there okay so acetylcholine choline is basically a neurotransmitter which will set in the impulse from one neuron to the other one so that is why we call it as a neurotransmitter so wave of irritability or impulse is carried from one neuron to the other one okay so this is the function of an axon here now the the question is explain the term receptor and effector i am only present okay nanu sarva vyapi okay so you are sarva vyapi that's nice so you are everywhere god okay so now you know receptor the nerve cells which on receiving the stimulus okay so set up waves of impulse towards the central nervous system so here is the receptor okay so once the signal is received by you know the receptor is going to sense that signal so now what is done so that movement so you can see there is a wave of irritability that is set in through this axon along with these dendrites over here so now you know it will be reaching these parts okay then here mainly it is joining where so now let's say this is an association neuron which you can find in the brain or this can be found in the spinal cord that is association neuron so this one is a sensory neuron now from brain it is going where it is carried the impulse is carried through the motor neuron that is to the effector so now what exactly does the effector do so muscles which on receiving the impulse so they are going to contract so now effector is going to send a message or impulse to the so this is basically a message to whom so that is to the muscle okay so now muscle is going to contract or it is going to relax so based on that the functioning will be done okay so let's see the next question here uh hi sanya good evening okay so any doubts you have you can ask i'll check the questions all right so let's see here the figure below is that of human brain so this is a human brain figure now so guidelines 1 to 5 so here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 indicate the different parts of the surface of the brain and these are as follows okay 
so now the first one is the frontal lobe so this is the frontal lobe of the cerebrum the second one here that is behind your ear so this one what you find okay so that is the temporal lobe of the cerebrum then third one here this one at the back so that is the occipital lobe and this one as usual this is the cerebellum and fifth one is the medulla oblongata so now study the diagram and answer the questions that are followed okay so what handicaps would result from damage to part number three so if occipital part like you know occipital brain is damaged like what exactly can happen then if damage is done to the fourth one okay so for both of these if there is a damage done here at the back like you know occipital area then at this particular cerebellum so what would be the cause of this one okay then another question is that mention one main function of the parts numbered one two five one two and five so what is the function of one what is the function of two and what is the function of five that means they have uh, specifically asked everything so if part three is the occipital lobe okay so if it is damaged the person cannot see okay so if this one is damaged the person cannot see okay so he cannot see because this one is associated with the vision there okay that is because directly from your eye the optical nerve is connecting back them so that is that means one cannot see now the part four is cerebellum which is associated with the body balance if this part is damaged the body balancing would be affected okay now part number one is that is what the frontal lobe of the cerebrum this will help in the movement that is mainly the arm like you know whenever you are swimming the arm action that you do right okay so there in that case just a second yeah so for our movement so main is basically this frontal lobe okay so now this is the brain part so here is this frontal lobe so that is associated with the movement mainly with respect to your arm okay now other than that the temporal lobe okay so this will control the taste and the smell so this is behind the ear here you can find a lobe on both the sides so that is the temporal lobe so that controls the taste as well as the smell okay then other than that the part five is basically medulla oblongata okay one second yeah so part five is medulla oblongata so this controls the involuntary activities um here is saying i got only 80 percent in seven one if i would get 90 percent in how much my average will be so that is you know completely based on uh, like they'll uh, calculate it so you can just find it out what is that suggestion avinash okay frontal lobe temporal lobe so this one is basically you need to know okay so this is not there in the syllabus like not with respect to that but you know if they are specifically uh, asking about the cerebrum part okay so now you know under this part let me just show you okay why is it not moving am i audible So this slide is not moving i think it got stuck so you please give importance to the odd one outs yes the so next session uh, i'll conduct on odd one out only okay so i hope i'm audible let me just check once yeah 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 okay so i'm audible all right so next class i'll do that itself okay that is uh, i'll be concentrating on odd one out itself so next session i think uh, in by may 5th i'll conduct one session okay so which i'll mainly concentrate on this so that is from all these chapters of term two okay so i'll uh, do the odd one out from this one okay and uh, yes one second 
Yeah, so cerebrum. Yeah, I was saying uh, mihira. Yes, yeah, I was saying mihira. So now you know cerebrum part. So this comes under cerebrum part now. So even though here in your syllabus they have not given it as temporal occipital, so like that if it is not given, so just make sure that what all is the associated function of this uh, fore brain, mid brain, and hind brain. Okay, so that you can have a ideology like which part is gonna have like you know which is associated with what function like. you know there is a memory then there is hearing vision logical reasoning thinking and all is done so you can just concentrate on that okay so i think my slide got stuck maybe my laptop also is hung so i'll just end the session here itself okay i this is the slide is not moving i don't know what is the reason okay so i'll end this session okay so see you all in the next session so next session i'll come up with the odd one out okay so i think that would be fine any doubts you guys have other than this so this one you can calculate on your own okay i don't know how exactly this works so i got 80% in sem 1 if i would get 90% in sem 2 how much so i don't know i, had, I don't know on what basis they are going to calculate that so you can just do it on your own or maybe you can take help from your um, friends i have no idea about that okay all right then uh, see you all in the next session bye bye everyone thank you so much